quick video about um, my fish pro and how I got it set up for spear fishing. It's not perfect yet, but I'm getting pretty close to uh, having it. I don't know, just do what I need it to, I guess. I faffed around with a few different layouts, and this one's working pretty well at the moment. So, first one, Sean Hahn put me onto this, is actually really obvious. Fins just sit really nicely in there. When they're in, they're absolutely, they don't go anywhere. That's super safe. So that's nice. I used to have my gun sitting up along the gunnel here and, and um, off the shark clip in there. And I still do that sometimes when I'm um, kind of in transit, but when I'm properly riding, I use these guys. This is, um, oh, what are they called? You know, I'll go around the other side. Just a grip strap or something. What is that? Versa strap. Uh, and you know it's pretty flexible so it's um which i guess makes it pretty tough as well like it doesn't once it's on there that's not coming off <clears throat> i'll show you how i've got that rigged up um so here i've got the float, float line and gun together so that when i undo this nice and easy throw that in the water uh, my float is in the bag here that's a dry bag, which is crazy that I have a float in there, but it's the only bag I've found that, I don't know, just nice. It just kind of stores crap on the back of there easily. I used to have the float sitting in the gunnel here, um, but when you're in big seas, eventually this can fill with water and the float ends up out of the boat, out of the jet ski, and that's not good. Because you don't, the last thing you want is that to get wrapped around your impeller underneath. <clears throat> okay, so these are just bolted on with some stainless screws and um, yeah some washers under there and then I'll put some silly sealant inside it um, feels pretty tough I mean the gun's not that heavy so I don't know I've had it I've done about 10 trips on it so far no sign of where the other one that I, I kind of had set up two options I didn't know which one I was, was going to like more this is the it's called these um, fist grip or Something, something about fists. Grip fist, maybe that's it. Yeah, grip fist. Anyway, they're pretty, this is what I use for my second gun, or usually, I'm not taking a second gun. Um, that's for the dive flag. That's super, they're super tough, these things. Okay, so the dive flag, that's something else that's kind of cool and unique, I guess. Let's, that is the PVC tube from Bunnings. And this is a $12 flag, just kind of uh, there. And I've got the kind of tube that has that little end on it. So he just, when I get to the spot, dive flag up. So that's nice and easy. Um, what else to call out? Yeah, probably the big thing that's surprising for everyone is how much room you got up here. That is massive. So, oh yeah, there's my anchor. Um, Cooper's anchor <clears throat> and I've got my stainless chain wrapped in this stuff which is an absolute ball ache to do but yeah it just means I keep the gel coat nice and clean uh, spare snorkel I don't know why but every five trips I lose a snorkel mid dive um, and a spare mask because if I'm out in the comp I don't know it's just one of those things that if you've gone all that way it's good to have a, have a spare um, yeah what else Stereo, gotta have a stereo <laughs> when you're out spearing. Uh, yeah, the esky's pretty, pretty good. I usually put a bag of ice and there's water and snacks and stuff in there. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't caught any fish big enough to that um, has made this um, too small yet. So it's always been the right size. Still looking for a good size kingy to stick in there. Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. I don't really use these rod holders much because I'm not really fishing with rods. Oh, I'm going to be impaling myself on that. Um, yeah, hope that helps someone. Oh, fish finder, that's always handy. Um, yeah. Enjoy. Get one.